came to India when I was 20, and I came to Rishikesh, bottom of the Himalayas, and I studied meditation and yoga there. And I fell in love with India. I fell in love with spirituality. It moved me. So Neela House stemmed from the love of crafts, textiles, and India by Lady Bamford herself. It's the realization of a 25-year dream to really retain the skills as I was traveling around India and seeing the handwork, the skills of India, the indigo dyeing, all the work of the different parts of India really meant something to me. It's the labor of love which has made India what it is today. The culture, the crafts, the textiles, it's all about love. Through the khadi, the cotton khadi, that's hand-woven in the villages, and that you see it in government shops, and you think, my goodness, the work, the effort that's gone into this, I really value that. I know it made India, and thank goodness for Gandhi, because it did make India. was actually the initiation of an actual centre. They started looking for a space, they started working with Indigo and the vision of working with textiles and crafts sort of culminated from there. Excellence, all the skills I've seen over 25 years. So people from abroad, from far and wide, can come and see what can be done in India. It took them a long time to find a space like this. Lady Bamford was quite sure that she didn't want to build. I think many people proposed to her that why don't you build from the ground. But she always believed, as she still does, that what is, is what we have to take forward. So why build? Why can we not find something that is truly Jaipur and actually use that space and take that space back into probably what it was and create something new with it? And that actually is the vision of Neela and that is what Neela sort of also believes in very strongly. comes into this house, she finds this beautiful property and then there are hearts on the pillars, which are traditional. It's not something that we've made, it's not something that was designed, they've been here from the beginning. I think that was the calling for her and that's going to be the calling for Neela House. It's about loving everything that you do and it's about loving every single piece of yarn, fabric, dye, indigo, everything that you put your hands on, you have your eyes on and everything that you believe in. Labor of love. They've actually taken back this building to what it was when it was built. They've stripped back all the cement, they've stripped back all the plaster, they've stripped back all the paint and everything and taken this building back to the core. And the building is actually alive. Every single material that has been used in the building is natural and that is what makes this building what it is today. have exhibition rooms in the front as well as archive rooms below in these beautiful basement spaces. Around the courtyard we have the workshop spaces. The best space about the courtyard also is the library. I think it's everyone's favorite space. It has the most beautiful books in it already. At the end of the building we also have an annex where we're going to have artists and residencies because anybody creative needs to actually breathe the space and be in the space. And so I really want it to be a seat of excellence for the skills and artisans that are all over India. We're going to open our house for internships, for residencies, for collaborations, and be part of the process that we're looking at doing, for creating something really, really beautiful and also to, to give them shapes and styles that, that can be dyed in indigo, that can be worked on with block print, that can be used 
for embroidery that can be used for all the wonderful crafts and hopefully they'll use it for their design teams and take it out to the rest of the world. And for showcasing to people that crafts and traditional Indian hand skills have value. And that's what sustainability is. Because the minute you have value for something, it becomes sustainable. It's not just something that you wear or you buy and you probably you know, discard. It's something that you will cherish for the rest of your life. There will always be something about indigo in all our collections and in all our work we do. Not only because our project is Neela, but also because the color is so close to India and the color is so close to what everything means to this organization. So we start with indigo, we go on to working with other natural dyes and not only look at them as a dye, but look at them as a story. We're just at the beginning of something. You know, this is, this is the start. And we can work on it and build on it and build for the future. realization of 25 years for me and I was very emotional and I was very emotional to see it all come together. I was very emotional to see what can be done but also I was impressed with the people that came that really seemed to like it. It's a privilege for me to be able to do this. I'm humbled by it. I really am humbled by what happens in India.